This is Trendy Gossip TV. You are listening and watching to the Entertainment Zone, the world of entertainment TV. Today is the 3rd of January uh, 2023. So guys, uh, here's the latest news. Uh, former Highfield Legislator uh, Psychology Maziwisa on Friday started serving his effective 40-month prison term after his appeal against conviction and sentence on two accounts of fraud was struck off the appeal uh, in uh, September last year. Masiwiza was convicted along with the former ZBC News anchor Oscar Pambuka for two counts of fraud for duping the Zimbabwe Power Company of 12,650 US dollars for radio coverage provided by Free by ZBC and trying unsuccessfully of getting another 36,000 US dollars. The two were jailed for a total of 78 months, 54 months on the first count with 12 months suspended on condition of good behavior on the lease and another two months if they pay back uh, ZPC uh, $6,325 US each paying their one half of what they won between them uh, through fraud. The second count attracted a 24-month sentence but this runs concurrently with the effective 40 months on the first count so the total effective sentence is 40 months each. Pambuka and Mazuisa had been roaming free for the past four months instead of serving their jail terms after their latest appeal bid was rejected. Mazuisa was committed to jail after he was arrested at the High Court last week where he wanted to not yet another appeal. He was then taken to Harare Magistrate Court where he appeared before Magistrate Mr. Stanford Mambanje, who formally committed him to prison. Mazuisa and Pambuka were fortunately awarded a tender to do public relations work for Zesa Holdings by a former energy minister, so uh, Samuel Udenge, at the time the power utility had its own functional public relations department. Dissatisfied with the decision of the trial court, the two appeared to the High Court against both conviction and sentence but that court struck the appeal of the law on the basis that it was fatally defective and incurable at law. Circumstances leading to their conviction are that in 2016, the ZPC advertised that ZPC would be on the Zim Asset Media campaign from January 15 to 15 February 2016. The company held a media conference on ZPC power projects at Kariba, Wange, and Batuka Gorge, and this was covered on the news bulletins on Power FM, Radio Zimbabwe, and National FM on January 17, 2016. The following day, the event was aired on Power Talk and Power FM. ZPC also wanted coverage on the current affairs program on National FM on January 29, 2016, and coverage on Zim Asset on Energy and Infrastructure Development on Power Talk on Power FM on February 15, 2016. Subsequent to the coverage on March 8, 2016, Pambuke and Mazuisa submitted an invoice to the ZPC for the payment of 12,650 years, which they said was for coverage on ZPC. ZPC paid the money despite the two knowing that ZPC had covered the activities for no payment. On the second account, the two claimed 36,000 US dollars for similar services that were rendered to ZPC. ZPC did not pay the 36,000 US dollar as it first investigated whether there was a debt to pay in the first place and found there was not and that the initial bill of 12,650 US dollar was also for non-existent debt. Pambuka and Mazuisa denied the charges during the trial saying the allegations were politically motivated. They however accepted that they indeed had claimed the money from the PC. They told the court that the money was due and payable to them for the coverage services they had rendered in terms of an agreement entered into with ZPC. So that's the latest year. And so the man is already serving uh, 40 months and uh, 40 months in jail. And he uh, is uh, Mazuisa, who is a former MP, is serving time together with his friend Oscar Pambuka. And uh, so in a MD, in a Vara Vara, and the center of the country, the uh, you know, you know, you know, big fire among one. And I can assure my dear, my dear, good tea. A Panama, you know, Panama Mama retains and also a manguana. Quite was a material good tune was Napier, ZPC, which is Zimbabwe Power Company. And again, there's a big institution, uh, ZBC, whereby everyone can just go and inquire, good to sure, church credit, and you know what a cheesy coach, a mother cat, okay. But you know, this is so bad, man. This is really bad. 
Jizo kuti uh, waizo batuwa, whether sooner or later waizo kubatuwa onzi, uh, they defrauded uh, the PC of money. And uh, so I don't know Madira waita, but anga wada kwa still. Even that is due uh, where Pambuka was involved. Ashizo ni uh, amtinga makapa South Africa, doye kroko mota azbita sese. I mean, juu njiripa chena jiwa kuti, you know, as a, as a person in Munavaro, I can go to Kroko Motors and inquire about it. Once on the Wagavaro Maria, Tina Munagadai. So, I mean, my dear Pachena team. And but anyway, uh, they are saving their time. 40 months in jail is not a job. And they have to save that 40 month vessel out of two. And yeah, so Pagaiba, we'll be keeping you guys up to date here on Zimex TV, Zimbabwe Leading Trend Gossip TV. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. Bless up.